Welcome friends. Now we are going to discuss important multiple choice questions on the topic the piecemeal distribution of cash in English. Friends, if you want the same questions in Hindi language, click on the I button at the top of the video. Same questions are available in Hindi language as well on this channel. So you can watch the same multiple choice questions with explanation in Hindi in this uh, channel so now let us start with first question question says the process of the piecemeal distribution of cash is related to the dash of partnership firm and options are admission retirement dissolution all of these see friends the process of the piecemeal distribution of cash is related to the dissolution of partnership firm so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question next question says dissolution means dash close down of business and options are complete partial temporary none of these see friends dissolution means complete close down of business so here option a is the right answer let us move on the next question it says the piecemeal distribution of cash is useful when assets are sold and options are at once one by one to single buyer all of these see friends the piecemeal distribution of cash is useful when assets are sold one by one so here option b is the right answer see the meaning of the piecemeal distribution of cash is itself that the distribution of cash as and when it becomes available is known as piecemeal it means when cash is received in parts or pieces this process is useful or this process is used Right. So, the piecemeal distribution of cash is useful when assets are sold one by one or in parts or pieces. Right. If assets are sold at once, then the total liabilities can be paid at a, sing at a single moment. Right. So, there will be no question of the piecemeal distribution of cash. Right. So, for this question, the piecemeal distribution of cash is useful when assets are sold one by one. So, option B is the right answer. Let us move on the next question. It says, in order to get good price, assets are sold when there is dash for it. And options are demand, supply, both, none of these. See, in order to get good price, we have to sell assets when there is demand for it. So here option A is the right answer. And in piecemeal distribution also, the assets are sold when there is demand. Right. So that firm can get good price for the assets. Right. So here option A is the right answer. Next question says when partnership firm is dissolved, the dash are realized and dash are paid. And options are cash liabilities liabilities assets assets liabilities and assets cash see read the sentence carefully so you can answer the question sentence says when partnership firm is dissolved the dash are realized what we realize at the time of dissolution we realize assets so is here the assets are realized and liabilities are paid we have to pay the liabilities right so here <coughs> Sorry, option C is the right answer, right? Assets are realized and liabilities are paid out. So here option C is the right answer. Let us move on the next question. It asks us which of the following method is used for piecemeal distribution of cash. So this question is about the methods of piecemeal distribution of cash and options are surplus capital method, maximum loss method, both none of these. See friends, surplus capital method and maximum loss method both are the method of piecemeal distribution of cash so here both option a and b that is option c is the right answer for this question let us move on the next question and next question says surplus capital method is also known as so this question asks us uh, the other names of surplus capital method and here options are maximum loss method notional loss method fixed installment method highest relative capital method etc see friends surplus capital method is also known as highest relative capital method so here option d is the right answer first option c it is maximum loss method so we know that surplus capital method and maximum loss method are different right second option that is option b notional loss method so friend here i would like to tell you that the maximum loss method is known as notional loss method right so here 
um, notional loss method is another name of maximum loss method so in this way also question can be asked like maximum loss method is also known as right so here in this single question uh, multiple mcqs can be uh, observed right uh, one more thing uh, student here i would like to tell you that yeah, the question is about the surplus capital method is also known as highest yield to right surplus capital method has uh, two more names surplus capital method is also known as uh, highest ca relative capital method so here option d this is the right so highest relative capital method then uh, surplus capital method is also known as excess capital method excess capital method is uh, other name of surplus capital method and uh, one more name is there for surplus capital that is proportionate capital method right so in fact surplus capital method has three other names right highest relative capital method uh, proportionate capital method and excess capital method right so particular for this question uh, option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question says firm is dissolved when firm is dissolved the piecemeal distribution of cash should be done in such a way that final unpaid amount of partners capital are in and options are capital ratio sacrifice ratio profit sharing ratio same ratio see friends read this sentence carefully this is a uh, very fundamental information or thing related to this topic right <coughs> <coughs> sorry when firm is dissolved the piecemeal distribution of cash should be done in such a way that final unpaid amount of partners capital are in final unpaid amount means friends it is nothing but the loss so final unpaid amount of partners are in the uh, dash ratio that capital sacrifice or profit sharing ratio here i would like to show you the uh, solved uh, question on the piecemeal distribution of cash so here uh, you can see on the screen the question uh, statement showing uh, distribution of cash and at the end the word is realization loss and realization loss of A is 14,000, B is 14,000 and C's realization loss is 7,000, right? So this realization loss is nothing but the unpaid capital, final unpaid capital and this final unpaid capital is realization loss it should be in the profit sharing ratio right so i hope now that uh, you understood the uh, question and its answer right so when firm is dissolved the piecemeal distribution of cash should be done in such a way that final unpaid amount of partners capital are in the profit sharing uh, profit sharing ratio right final unpaid amount means the realization loss which uh, partner has to bear that loss and that loss should be in the profit sharing ratio so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question friends and it says in piecemeal distribution of cash realization expenses are paid only provided at the and options are <coughs> end beginning last middle see in piecemeal distribution of cash realization expenses are paid at the beginning we have to paid or provide realization expenses at the beginning so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question it says in piecemeal distribution of cash dash is paid at the end see friends the both this question number 9 and 10 are about the order of payment in the piecemeal distribution of cash while distribution distributing the cash we have to follow a certain order in piecemeal distribution of cash right in order we have to pay realization expenses or provide for at at the beginning right so in order realization expenses are, are at the top then we have to pay the preferential creditor then unsecured creditors uh, sorry then secured creditors then unsecured creditors right then partners loan and at the end we have to pay the partners capital right so this is basically the order of payment in piecemeal distribution of cash here in piecemeal distribution of cash dash is paid at the end so uh, in piecemeal distribution of cash partners capital is paid at the end right friends if you want to uh, 
watch the fundamental video related to piecemeal distribution of cash again the link is in the uh, i button click there you will uh, directed at the link where you can understand the piecemeal distribution of cash in detail right so here uh, for question number 10 uh, piecemeal distribution uh, in piecemeal distribution of cash partners capital is paid at the end so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question next question says taxes payable to the government are considered as dash creditors in piecemeal distribution of cash and options are uh, secured unsecured fixed preferential see friends the taxes payable to uh, the government are considered as preferential creditors so here option d is the right answer and all amount due to the government is considered as the preferential creditors whatever amount due to the government is basically preferential creditor in uh, piecemeal distribution of cash right so here option d is the right answer next question says loan taken from the wife of partner is considered as dash creditors in piecemeal distribution of cash and options are secured unsecured fixed preferential c loan taken from the wife of partner is considered as the third party liability and it is basically unsecured creditors right so here option b is the right answer unsecured creditors with the loan taken from wife of partner has to be paid along with unsecured creditors like creditors bills payable or bank loan right so here option b is the right answer next question says in surplus capital method adjusted capital is divided by dash to find out base capital so see friends this question is uh, specifically related to the surplus capital method and it it asks us about the adjusted capital first understand what is adjusted capital adjusted capital is the capital uh, where we uh, we adjust the uh, undistributed profit or loss okay so it, it means the ba in balance sheet the capital balances are given okay when from that capital balance we add, uh, deduct undistributed loss or add undistributed profit in it we get uh, adjusted capital even the general reserve or reserve fund is also distributed amongst the partner when we add that reserve we get adjust adjusted capital right so the question asks ask us in surplus capital method adjusted capital is divided by so uh, this is about the steps uh, uh, to find out the surplus capital okay so here we uh, first uh, calculate adjusted capital then we divide it by the profit sharing ratio of the partners right here options are profit sharing ratio capital ratio sacrifice ratio leverage so in surplus capital method adjusted capital is divided by profit sharing ratio so here option a is the right answer let us move on the next question it says in surplus capital method available cash is first paid to a partner having options are more capital highest share absolute surplus and surplus see friends after payment of the third party liability in this uh, piecemeal distribution of cash remaining amount has to be paid to the partners right now question arises to whom this cash should be paid first and for that there are two methods surplus capital method and maximum loss method so in surplus capital method we find out the absolute surplus and uh, the cash is paid first to that partner who has absolute surplus right so for this question in surplus capital method available cash is first paid to partners having absolute surplus so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question next question says the surplus capital method or maximum loss method is useful to distribute cash for various liabilities secure creditors unsecured creditors partners capital c again sir uh, friends we discussed that the uh, outside liabilities are paid in similar manner in both methods in surplus capital method and maximum loss method we uh, uh, paid off outside liability in same manner it, and in same order also right there is no difference here when the question arises uh, about the partner repayment of partners capital at that time we have to decide uh, to whom the cash should be paid first and for that these two methods are there right so basically the surplus capital method or maximum loss method is used to distribute cash for partners capital right so here option d is the right answer 
it's again uh, friends i would like to tell here you that the detailed video in both languages in hindi and english is available on the channel on this topic the piecemeal distribution of cash if you uh, want to learn more about this uh, topic this concept please go through that video so that you can understand the concept properly right for for this question uh, particularly for this uh, question the surplus capital method or maximum loss method is useful to distribute uh, cash for a partner's capital so option d is the right answer next question is about maximum loss and uh, it is about the uh, formula of maximum loss uh, sentence says maximum loss is equal to uh, dash minus available cash and options are total liabilities due, total assets due, total capital due, total creditors due. See friends, maximum loss is calculated uh, by subtracting available cash from the total capital, right? So in maximum loss method, we assume that the available rea realization or present realization is the last realization and there will be no realization in future. and uh, the uh, whatever amount which is which will be unpaid that will be the maximum loss and accordingly we calculate the maximum loss and then maximum loss is distributed amongst the partner in their profit sharing ratio right so here again for this topic maximum loss uh, for this method maximum loss is equal to total capital due minus available cash this is one mcq here and uh, the question can be asked like that maximum loss is distributed uh, amongst the partner in which ratio so maximum loss is distributed among uh, uh, distributed amongst partner in profit sharing ratio right so particularly for this question maximum loss is equal to total capital due minus available cash so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question it says preferential creditors are treated as secure creditor unless otherwise stated the statement is uh, we have to state whether the statement is true or false see read this sentence carefully it says preferential creditors are treated as secured creditors no friends preferential uh, creditors are not secure they are basically unsecured we have discussed that preferential creditors are those uh, to whom we have to pay the cash at the time of piecemeal distribution on the preferential basis which mainly includes the government dues so government dues are not secure creditors they are unsecured credit so this statement is false so option b is the right answer next question says on piecemeal distribution assets are sold and liabilities are paid in pieces right we have discussed that in piecemeal distribution assets are sold and liabilities are paid in pieces or part so this statement is true so here option a is the right answer let us move on the next question next question says the abil uh, liability which uh, is uncertain is known as and options are secret liability contingent liability fixed liability preferential liability see the liability which is uncertain is known as contingent liability friends basically right contingent liability is a liability which is not certain it is uncertain the outcome of this liability depends on the happening of certain event in the future here i would like to tell you the example of contingent liability that see uh, suppose the uh, one employee of the firm has made claim against the firm for the compensation for any reason he has uh, made a claim on the firm for compensation of rupees 5 lakh right and firm is not agree with uh, his demand now he has option to go into the court and uh, they, that employee has suppose filed case against our firm. In that case, there are two po po possibilities related to that uh, case that the case uh, may go in the favor of that employee in that time. The firm has to pay 5 lakh rupees to that employee, right? If case goes into favor of that employee, right? But if case... Uh, is in the favor of firm in that case there is no need to pay that amount right so basically uh, the outcome of this contingent liability depends on the certain event which is going to happen in the uh, future right so uh, in this uh, particular this example uh, yeah, if the case is in the favor of employee the liability arises and if the uh, outcome of the case is in the favor so, uh, favor of uh, firm then a liability doesn't arise right so it is uncertain basically right 
so the liability which is uncertain is known as contingent liability so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question friends and it says if there is debit balance in profit and loss account it is to be uh, dash from the capital balances at the time of preparing statement showing surplus capital and options are added divided deducted none of the c debit balance of profit and loss account means loss and we have to subtract the loss right so here option c that deducted if there, there is debit balance in profit and loss account it is to be deducted from the capital balance right so here option c is the right answer and if uh, the uh, the credit balance is there it is added right but for this question number 20 uh, sentence says if there is debit balance in profit and loss account it is to be deducted so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question friends the realization loss in piecemeal distribution of uh, cash comes in dash ratio so we have discussed about that that realization loss in piecemeal distribution of cash comes in uh, dash ratio capital sacrifice profit sharing assets so we you know that the realization loss comes in profit sharing ratio so realization loss must be in the profit sharing ratio right this is the purpose of piecemeal distribution of cash so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question next question says in piecemeal distribution before anything is paid to partners all dash liabilities must be paid off so in piecemeal distribution before anything is paid to partner all dash liability internal outside fixed contingent so we know we know that in piecemeal distribution before anything is paid to partner all outside liabilities must be paid off so here option b is the right answer right so prior, uh, friends here we have discussed the important multiple choice questions related to the piecemeal distribution of cash if you want uh, to know the topic in detail with uh, example uh, there is a video on the channel and uh, here uh, uh, you can watch this video uh, clicking on the i button as well right so uh, you can watch this now uh, i would like to stop here make sure that you have subscribed the channel and like this video share it with your friends thank you friends thanks for watching